What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, exist. How are you? Good to see you. Hope you're doing well. So did it, today we're playing some Red Dead Redemption 2. Red Dead Redemption 2 has a little uh, tribute to my dad, to be honest. Uh, I kind of... I kind of cried a little a little bit last night just because, you know, I looked at the time and remembered where I was 15 years ago, exactly where I was. And to be honest, 15 years ago, uh, 15 years ago today marks the anniversary of my father's passing. And he was a big fan of Westerns, so I figured, you know what, let's play a, let's play a Western game. What better Western game than uh, Red Dead? This game actually does it right. Hello. Decent town you got here. Oh, yeah. Carlos, thank you for the follow. Hello, homie. You seem pretty cool and I feel entertained. That's why I follow. love to make friends. Part of your followers, viewers, if you wish. Uh, I appreciate it. I. Don't add people on Discord, not people that I don't know. Uh, let's get to know each other a little bit, and then we'll see. Hope you understand. Anyway. Howdy. Howdy. Me, yes, Gotta get that honor up. They ain't messing with me. They. They mad at me right now. I don't know why. I didn't do nothing to them. Whoa. Hang on. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. So right now we're on the search for Mr. Angelo Bronte because he has John's son, Jack. And we're trying to get him back. Chapter 4 is honestly um, my favorite chapter in this game, I think. Oh, got the autosave thing coming up. Gavin's friend, can I talk to him? Nope, it won't let me talk to him. Why did I see a commotion before already with the stranger and now it's gone? Whoa, whoa, wait, 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 Ah, it's there. Well, let's go talk to them. I'm intrigued. No, no one's seen an Englishman called Gavin. Okay, never mind. Anyone dumb enough to want to vote, I say go for it. <clears throat> oh, a cynic. 
How dull for you. I do hope you grow out of it, young man. It's so unappealing. Unappealing is what I do best. Unappealing. Don't you push up on me. I ain't do nothing. I didn't do nothing. Okay, bye. Four. Yes, you are. Sure. Can I tell you a little about what we're doing here? Sure. Less than a minute, I promise. Uh, we're trying to raise money to build an expansion to the Quincy Harris Memorial Hall, a shelter for homeless veterans and their families. Can you help? A donation of $20 would put us well, well on our way. That's a big chunk of change. Twenty dollars ain't no chicken feed, but sure, I can help you out. That's very kind. What is your name, sir? Arthur Morgan. Your donation will be acknowledged on a founder's plaque when the building is completed. You have a great day, Mr. Hello. Morgan. Thanks. Why would you give out her real name like that? I thought we were Arthur Callahan. What happened to that? Let's go find Mr. Bronte. Stick him up, cowboy. Stick him up, cowboy. <laughs> yeah. yeah, real funny, Dutch. Oh, I thought so. So, here we are in a strange land of papists and rapists. America's very own Gamora. This city's all of the same to me. So, how you get on? I've been asking around about Mr. Bronte. From what I've heard, this establishment is our best lead. But I haven't had any joy in there so far. So I should just give it a shot? I think so. Just keep it cool. You know me? I'll meet you back here or not. I'm cool as a cucumber.
funny you should say that. <laughs> well, you know how it is. I told them, I say, that's the state of Le Mans for you. America's dirty little French secret. <laughs> Excuse that's me. That's why we love it. Born and raised. Mm. Well, I'll get you in a second. Not unless we all get washed away. <laughs> Every year, they say that's gonna happen. It ain't happened yet. <laughs> I'm sorry, please excuse me. I, I seem to have some very impatient customers. I mean, yeah, you're just sitting there doing nothing. You look like a whiskey man. Sure. Dollar, please. For a whiskey? Oh, that's the real stuff. From Scott. Okay. Here, have one for yourself. Well, thank you. Dollar for a whiskey is a bargain. Flash you question. You ever hear of a fella by the name of Bronte? <laughs> Who's asking? Me. I'm asking. No, leave it, Fred. What do you mean, leave it? Look, I don't know what business you in, but leave it, Fred. You and your pal that was in here before. It got really, really bright in here all of a sudden. Angelo Bronte. Mr. Big. Italian spaghetti eating long streak of piss big. Yeah, it makes my skin crawl. I'm so squally and cocksucker. You know what I mean, friend? Where can I find him? Oh, well, I reckon you talk to them kids in the alley, they'll know how to get. The kids in the in the alley, huh? Morning already? Hey, Cap. Officer. Hello. It's really become quite the craze. So you just walk up to any man with a ring on his finger and turn it three times? Hi there. Have you seen any kids around here? Oh, yeah. Just through that archway there. Oh, there they are. Hey. Hey, you got a cigarette, mister? Maybe. Huh? I'm looking for a fellow named Angelo Bronte. I tell you. I know him. Everyone knows him. Where is he? We'll take you to him. What old cost? I reckon I can pay. Five dollars. Where's he live? New York? I'm an entrepreneur. If you don't want to pay, then I don't want to walk. Oh, man. Let's buy right here. Come on. This away. Let's go, mister. You coming, Cleet? Stay close. Easy to get lost around here. Come on, then. You new to the city, mister? Pretty much. Don't worry. No one knows it as good as me and Cleet. Is that right? Hope he won't need his services, but you got the doctor on the corner there. Nice enough, fella. That's Baird and Schreiber on the right there. Famous bookstore. Not that I'm much of a reader myself. Now over here's a real piece of art. That's the Church of the Holy Blessed Virgin, mister. Modeled on the famous church in Toulouse, which is in France. You been to Toulouse, mister? No. We're Catholics here, mister. Ain't Baptist or nothing. My mom is that right? They used to burn Protestants and all, but uh, we all friends now. Isn't that the most beautiful testament to God's love for us all? Beautiful, yep. You have nothing so fine where you come from, mister. Look at them fine steeples. Hey, hey, <laughs> you little bit of shit. Get going, he's coming after us. You better stop right Come on, I'm trying to call my horse. Look at him, he's glitched. Gotcha. You little bastard. I was just playing. Give me my things back. Get off me, mister. I'm a good boy. I wash. You wash. Street opposite the park. Okay. Uh, welcome to San Denis, mister. It's quite a town. Get lost. Well, 
Well, that was the first time I was actually able to catch him. And I think it's because he glitched out for like a second. That's fine by me. Where are you at, Dutch? Dutch. What's up, Dutch? Where you been? Getting robbed, who by? Bunch of children. <laughs> I won't inquire anymore. But I found Mr. Bronte. Seems to be some Italian Mr. Big in town. Everybody knows him, but nobody wants to talk about him. Apparently he lives in a big house on Flavian Street opposite the park. Good work. What now? We go pay him a visit. I'll get John. You meet us there. Whatever it takes, we need to get that boy back. Whatever it takes. Cause I love the adrenaline in my veins. I cannot decide which I like less. The swamps or the city. Both are full of parasites, reptiles, and slime. We're a long way each to land we know, far from real open country. Buenos dias. Buenos dias. Got a lot of strangers and a Mary Beth. It's you. Hello. Buenos dias. Howdy, fellas. Hello. I'll leave the horse there for now. This mission's right here. I have been all over the world, I have seen the sights, and I have discovered the one eternal truth. That What's that? I am a pies, um, how do you say, old ass. <coughs> Asshole? Mm, that too, that too. <laughs> mm. Well, at least you have some self-knowledge. <laughs> Where were you on your journey? Mm. All the civilized world, painting my little pictures, meeting the locals, you know. You a painter? No. I'm a whole ass. I thought we had covered this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, but you paint. Not according to salons at Paris. No, according to them, I cannot draw, I cannot paint, and I should go away. And so I went away. Miss Paris? Hmm, that smelly, filthy place with old buildings and ghosts and shit and French people. I have that right here. Hmm? I guess so. Mm, you know, uh, Arthur. Charles. No, Arthur, don't believe in art. Mm. It's lies. Believe in women. They're the truth. Art is lies, but the vagina, that is truth. Breasts is truth. Art, for it is. You say so. Oh, trust me, I've tried both. No. One is better. Much better. 
<sighs> so, I uh, must be boring you. Uh, but, here. What is it? Uh, it's just a little doodle. Uh, you know, entirely worthless, unless you want to wipe your bottom with it. But I wanted to say thank you for the drinks. Well, that's very kind, Charles. Mm. No matter. I mean you. Mm. We will definitely encounter him again. At some point. Let's see what we got. Another stranger over here. He's got strangers galore right now. Well, at least it's right next to where our horse is. And you're a magnificent bit of work. You may have made some some poor choices, but which of us hasn't? <laughs> you have no idea. But you do. And God does, and that's enough for me and for him. We shall see. That we shall, sir. But why don't you hedge your bets and give two bits to the poor? There are so many who will go hungry. Sure. Bless you, sir. How you getting on, anyhow? These are a somewhat apathetic lot, I'm afraid. Mm. My, uh, my mentor says that America is designed to induce apathy in people. It's a wonderful insight. You must be a wise man, your mentor. <laughs> well, sometimes he's a downright fool, but uh, usually he's the best man I know. That's wonderful. The, the thing is, I'm, well, poverty will always be with us. Slavery. I, I thought we had banished that. But San Denis is acting as a staging post for shipping slaves out to some of the islands. I don't believe it. It's 1899. Maybe you should take a look for yourself. I've heard that the pawnbroker down the block around the corner, the one with the green door, well, they say he sells more than forlorn trinkets. Help the poor. I go myself. Not surprised. Let's investigate this shop. We ain't having no slavery up in here. Hey friend. You know what? I'm feeling good today. Hi there, mister. Feel free to browse. Shall do. A bit of a strange question, but you heard tell of slavers on here, buddy? What? Where are they? Who? People you're hiding. I know they're here. Don't lie to me. Please, they made me do it. I was always good to them, but they, they, they forced me to do it, sir, I swear. There's a door behind the bookcase there. Just put the big red book called The Skirt of Crossbreeding by Harold McDougall. Get down. I'll take your money too while I'm, while I'm at it. You don't deserve it. You don't need cigarettes.
Don't worry. You're being rescued. You're good. Alright, y'all are free now. You're free men now. Shop. Oh my, that's... well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that, they're very unusual. I don't think uh. they speak much English. My brothers, come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh, yes. Thank you, I... Uh, here, payment for your services. I could not have freed these men myself. No, we, we can't take that. Thank you. I will. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come, come. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper Street in St. Francis. Duly noted. Find the captives without threatening the... What's the fun in that? In the time limit? Bump that. What's the fun in not threatening the store owner, though? Come on. Don't play with me. Go ahead and do Dutch's mission. It's 12.04 p.m. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's hungry, so I'm gonna feed him. He's my friends, John and Dutch. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? 
Not much, just some slick little greasy haired European clearly got power and money. Now, listen, if we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax with a charm. Must be. You okay, John? I guess. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Dutch got this. These guys are armed to the bones right now. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my seat. Stinking of shit and looking like this and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have Now We are simple country folk all we have is each other. And you have gone, and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers that ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business! We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You, you twist words, you... Lie shamelessly, you think you are better than everyone else. Theodore. <laughs> That's an embarrassing woman. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Mars. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> this is shady. So, Don't drink that. Uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of course, I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> so they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van Der And you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Salute.
Wow, we've been in there for a few hours. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. Impressive. You did good. Holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? Nope. We don't even know where Jack is. Listen. We found Bronte. We got in there. Touch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope he's okay. He'll be fine. I figure the Braithwaite's were going to hold Jack Grant's for all the money we cost him. We must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay. Him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done. Let Dutch handle the rest. Mm -hmm. I just hope you're right. Sounds reasonable to me. Okay. I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch your horses up ahead. Bolt action and Lancaster. Okay. Probably won't need all that, but... Not complaining at all. This way. Come on. Let's find him and get the hell out of here. On it. A dog somewhere. There you are. Hey there, boy. Hey there, boy. You go deep in the ground? Take a nap. Whoopsies. I wanted to just punch him out, but I guess that works. Unknown animal. Here we go. Oh. Damn it. 
was a trap apparently. Oh gosh. There we go. You better stop running. I can think of better ways to spend an evening. Next time, just gotcha. But he had quite a bit of money on him. So there's that. I know. coming this way so let's go the other way ah how do they see me Oh, you guys aim like crap, for one thing. Alright. Out of the way. That one for freaking what? I don't even know how they saw me. This way, bruh. Yeah. Come on, jump over, please. Oh my gosh, why do these people just keep popping up out of nowhere? Alright, let's just stay here. Just get there. 
Yeah, if you ask me, that was total nonsense that they saw me because they shouldn't have. They weren't even looking in my direction when I ran by, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, there the, they are. Like, nah. No freaking way. Well, you took your time. Where's your host? Like I said, you took your time. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank Mr. Bronte. Right. Yeah, I'm fine. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> Is that right? Us, just simple country boys. That's what we are, simple country boys. Let's go. We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're gonna love it. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Papa Bronte, by the way. Call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yeah, for real. Papa Bronte. Wait till you see this new camp. Not another one. Well, this one's got a house. Not as nice as Mr. Bronte's, mind you. That's okay. We'll get you settled and cleaned up in no time. Oh, I had a bath last night. Of course you did. Huh. <laughs> he got spoiled. Arthur's probably due for a bath himself, to be honest. Mr. Bronte, he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? Do you ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. 
Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, boys safe, thank goodness. Everything thank you, Arthur. Up. <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. Go be with your family. Oh, we made some money for that. Encounter the dog and the drunk. Don't get spotted by the law. That was total nonsense. Get four headshots. Whatever. I can't deal sometimes with these parameters. I'm going to have some stew. Arthur's hungry. I'll let you guys listen to this. I'm going to get some water real quick. I'll be right back. Okie dokes, I'm back. Drink right now. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys. Get in good. here, boys. Well, we got lucky this time. If you say so. <laughs> Mango. How rude of you to interrupt, Dutch. Look at, look at Sadie smoking it up like a man. Having a beer. I'm gonna smoke a cigar. Why not? One puff and that's it.
Let's give some rest. It's been a while since Arthur had some proper rest. My boy is tired right now. He has been working aimlessly to get the boy back. Morning is three hours from now, which is crazy. Letter has arrived for me. Let's do a trim. Yeah, that's good enough for the time being. My dear Arthur, I hope this letter finds you well. I wanted to thank you for your help with Jamie. He and Daddy are still arguing, but I understand that Jamie is thinking about going back to college. Whatever happens, I believe you saved his life, and we are all truly grateful. Oh, Arthur, I have made such a mess of my life time and again. Why can I not change and be the woman I want to be? Why couldn't you change? And be a man and put down all those fantasies that shroud your judgment. Who are you to judge? Life is very confusing. I agree. Now that I'm not very good at it. I'm afraid we've got ourselves into another mess. It's not my fault, but I need your help. I'm staying at the Hotel Grand in San Denis. Oh, Arthur. I know it is wrong to ask you. But I have nobody else. And for what we once had together, I beg of you, even though I am ashamed to do so. Yours, Mary. Yeah, you should be ashamed, Mary. Don't know what you're doing asking me for stuff. I ain't your man. You burned that bridge. Rock that for the time being. Let me go ahead and talk to Mr. Strauss and obtain his missions. Just since he's right here. Got a Hosea mission. Yeah, that's that thing. Mary Linton. Mary Beth. What is Mary Beth? Well, she won't even say right now. I want to take on Black Bill right now. I think that's what I want to do. But yeah, I want to talk to Strauss and then take on Black Bill, I think. For your letter, I 
wasn't glad he hadn't been hanged yet. Oh boy. That does not look good. I skimmed through it. The dude was threatening Micah. Good for him. Micah's a piece of work. Still working, Mr. Strauss. What you been up to? We're trying to wrap up our accounts before we leave, Mr. Morgan. So you'll be joining us in Tahiti. I uh, rather fancied Australia. A similar kind of people to us. Lots of opportunity. That tells me we're going to be rich. Perhaps, but... So far, we have not raised many cattle. So, Mr. Morgan, will you help me finalize our business here? <coughs> this is filthy work. We'll need money in Australia. But for cattle and feed, I mean. Why flinch now? You never have done before. Well, here they are. Some fishermen by the name of Davison, L.J. Davison, living in a place called Catfish Jackson near Scarlet Meadows. A fisherman. And that's it. We're a union built on that, you know. Okay. Catfish Jackson. The camp only has 50 bucks. That's okay, though. We'll get more money soon. For right now, I want Black Bell. She is a little ways away, but not too far. Not terribly far. It looks, it looks farther than what it actually is. Oh, oh, I don't want to do that right now. Nope, 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 nope. What I do want is coffee. I just realized that I do want coffee. Alright, let's head on, over the, head on over to Black Bell. Yeah, what's up? My damn heart's died on me and my legs are hurting and I need to get home. Okay, let's go. That's crazy.
sure it's the horse that's the problem? Maybe you should be worrying about the gators. Where was it? The grass? Well, that's how life is. Hmm. That's how life is. Bet you travel a lot. You a fool. Can't find yourself no home to live and grow and die in if you always moving. Can't build no roof down. Can't grow nothing up. Always moving is no good. Maybe I don't want roots. How about that? I'm not looking to set them. They both they both raise some valid points. Okay, we're like right around the corner. I love that I found a uh, Mary. Mary, I think it was it. I don't remember. I think I'm mixing up two different scenarios in this game right now. My bad. But yeah, I do, I do love this mission. Ends up being a big, giant defense mission. It's pretty cool. Here, I don't think I need this. I just need the bolt, uh, the, the Lancaster. That's all I need. Or whatever this thing is. Yeah, the Lancaster. Clean it up a little bit. We can get gun oil off of um, corpses. It's all good. Gotta keep our weapons in tip top shape. Scalp hunters I'm running from them neither. And fighting? Well, if it's just me against them, <laughs> that'd be a waste of time and nitroglycerin. Well, let me know what I can do. You want that Wild West story, don't you? Yes, I do. All right, get up here quick. Now, when I give you the word, hit that. Whole place is wired. Black Bell. We're about to I got a contract write a story here. For your life or your liberty. We'd sooner it be liberty. It's mighty reasonable, mister. Come here, let me take a look at it. Come on. Oh, come on. Stop just there. Get it off. Here goes your contract. You did it. Hey, look. They're trying to flank us. 
Oh, wonderful. Got him. Got him. Got the behinds. Got more. That's true. That's true too. Is that the last of them? Yeah. You got them scalp hunters on your back. Yeah, for now. For now. So, you gonna tell me about your Wild West days, running with Jim Boy Calloway? Little Boy Calloway? <laughs> the only running he did was away from a fight, and that's about the end of it. Apparently a famous gunslinger. Yeah, so they say. But uh, don't get what's famous confused with what's true. Mm. Once of us that lived that life, we was too busy being scared for our scalp to talk to no newspaper writers or dime novel men. <laughs> what were they like then? Those days they all talk about. Mm. Same as now, I guess. Only longer ago. I'm gonna need your picture too, if it ain't trouble. No, sir, no trouble at all. Can't be worse than those awful drawings on the wanted posters. <laughs> Hell, great. Uh, you stand over there and uh, let me get this thing ready. Uh, ready? How do you want me? Like this? Okay. Got it. And I guess they'll be on the way. There. <laughs> well, thank you, Mrs. Bell. You gonna be all right? Oh, been running for 20 years. But I'll be running till I drop. Just the way it is. Good luck. <laughs> Black Bell. Whoa, Black Betty, bam, bam. Actually, I think Mary Linton's closer, so gonna end it here, go guys, guys and gals. When we come back next time, we'll go we'll see Mary Linton. But uh, my plans for the weekend, um, I think we're gonna play some Walking Dead and Fallout Three tomorrow. I'm not sure in which, what exact order, you know, what time, but that's, I'm planning on doing both of those tomorrow. And then Sunday, we'll continue on with it. Continue on with Jedi Survivor. And then, as far as the week, Tuesday, Thursday, all that stuff, we'll figure that out together. For right now, I appreciate all the uh, tabs, lurks, and all that. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night. And we're going to raid my, uh, my good friend Halo. Absolute W streamer playing some uh, Among Us. So you go enjoy that. Hope we got. Hope you guys have a great rest of your night, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. God bless and much love. Mwah.